Hello, it's Marcia with Then and There. I just have a couple quick um, junk journal shares for you this morning. Um, a couple books that I've been working on. These are both, um, well, this one specifically um, is a prayer journal or um, like um, sermon notes or Bible study journal specifically. This one could be if you wanted it to be it or not it's entirely up to the recipient so I'm just gonna quickly flip through um, <clears throat> hold on I'm gonna go find something to measure this real quick and I'll let you know its dimensions okay went and got my ruler so this one is about four and three quarter by seven and a quarter with a two yeah two inch spine so this one I, I um, wanted to keep it really um, plain on the cover and everywhere without a lot um, of stuff on it so it could be put in a purse or bag or what have you um, if you wanted to take it with you to church or Bible study or what have you um, I say what have you a lot don't I I just realized that I think I've said it a lot just so far in this video Anyways, we have a vintage image of um, some roses here on the cover, which everything is um, uh, sealed in with um, artist medium. Um, this is some vintage um, floral fabric, and the stitches, as you can see, are sewn into the spine, which was reinforced with fabric on both the inside and out. And it's also stitched around as well on the spine. Got some um, crinkle ribbon here for closure. It's just tied through eyelets, as you can see. Um, this book was a um, what's it called? It was called a Bible handbook, and so it, it does have maps on the um, um, inside covers. Oh my goodness! Anyways, of Israel and um, let's see what is this oh Egypt you got the Nile River here going to um, cross the Red, Dead, Red Sea and go to the Dead Sea okay <laughs> stop racking my brain um, for geography it's not geography class so anyways this is there are a couple of these in here these are um, calendar pages. They're um, rather sturdy calendar pages. As you can see, there's the calendar on the other side. But they had verses on them, which I thought was perfect for this book. And I love that they're sturdy. And I put envelope here with just some extra writing paper. There are some coffee dyed papers in here and some not. So I didn't, I didn't try to go all vintage or what have you. There's some light stamping throughout the book. Pattern paper and um, yeah, it's a vintage image of forget me nots. Some um, hymnal music, which it's in a hymnal, so that's fitting. Some stamping, Some note paper. This is some vintage, um, like office stationery. A little um, card that you could give to a friend. Some more of that fabric stitched on the side here. The pocket with another piece of map from the. Haley's Bible Handbook, that was the name of it. And just some extra journaling paper there. Lots of room to write in here. This is just a um, postcard flipped in here. With some little ribbon on there. This is a page from a Rose gardening book, a stamped tag, and some um, lace down here. A card with a verse on it, and journaling space. 
little pocket with some extra writing paper. This is a page from a botanical book. Um, the botanical prints in that book were from the 1800s. They were just reproduced. Take it, that's a little bit stampy. Some cardstock, a little tuck spot there. More of that rose paper, rose garden paper. This flips out, and it's also a little pocket here for some extra paper. Pocket here with some more of that map. The other calendar page. Just extra writing paper. Some more of that botanical book with just some note paper tucked in. This is just a piece of fabric that um, I found this after I had the book bound and everything. Otherwise, I would have sewn it in, but since I really liked the blue bird with the the book, which has a lot of blues in it, I just paper clipped it in there. This is just a little a little flip book in this pocket. Some more um, music. The tag. A pocket here with just a journaling card. Oops. More of that botanical book paper. And this flips up. And there's the end of the book. And there's the other side of the calendar page. There's that one. It's the Bible handbook. This one is an old hymnal. This um, I love this one. It isn't a really old book, but um, it's a, a well-made book. And you know, since being in a church, it gets a lot of handling and use. And I love the um, rough edges and just the worn look on it and so I left it as is. I did reinforce the spine with um, Tyvek and um, fabric on the inside. As you can see it has um, some lace and some cheesecloth um, on both edges. It says um, the hymnal. And there's the back and it's got lots of wear and tear. I did seal this with some artist medium just to prevent further or a lot of further wear and tear. Did that make sense? Just barely? Maybe. <laughs> and it is um, tied closed with some um, ribbon. Uh, inside is a lace pocket and a journaling card. A little bit of sheet on Kindle music. Lots of pockets, some more of that rose book, um, journal, um, ledger paper, a tuck spot. This is a, a book page from a devotional. A little bit of sewing here. A little tuck spot with a tag. It's more of that vintage um, office stationery, that's what it's called. I hope the lighting isn't too dull today. It's kind of early. The sun, the sun is plenty up, but there are a lot of trees around that side of the house that block the sun, which um, I love because <laughs> I'm not a, an early morning person. I would rather just it be dark and dim for a while before the sun shows itself fully. There's a little tuck spot there. This one, I do believe. Most all of the pages are coffee dyed in this one. Well, except for the ledger paper because it had its own. It has its own um, vintage look to it already. Got a tuck spot here with a phone. Some more of that roses the page, the vintage image here. And some writing paper which has some stamping on it.
this uh, postcard. Another stamping. This is a, a watercolor. Um, it was an experiment. And um, I just thought I would start tucking some of these um, pieces of watercolor that I have laying around in books. And, you know, um, they're not anything I would frame, but I like them and I would still like to do something with them. So I thought junk journals would be a good spot. It's a little tuck spot there with this vintage playing card. Uh, a little vintage image a uh, nice tuck spot. Some more. Of, this is a page from the original hymnal. This is a tuck spot made using a uh, postcard. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe it is too early in the morning to be doing this, but I don't know. I've got a vintage image here on this envelope, which is, it was sealed, but I just um, opened the side of it. Got some journaling card in there. And I left it open behind the envelope, so you got two tuck slots there. This is from a, a um, an old, oh, not, not terribly old, but a vintage um, little pamphlet that I found a bunch of them at a garage sale. And this is a chapel, Union Church in New York, that I thought was really pretty. thought it was fitting. A little tuck slot here with some vellum. Journaling card. So large pocket here with some cheesecloth and um, little paper collage. Stamping. Uh, pocket there with the tag. And a little little flip book here. Just a mix of papers in it. Tuck tuck spot here and here. And tag there. Some more of that hymnal music. The other side of that watercolor. Got some muslin stitched on the side here with a large tag, some stamping on it. Another pocket with some muslin and a collage, a vintage image. Some more of that rose, rose garden book. A little stamping on that tag. Some um, hymnal music. The other side of that pamphlet, it, or this is a different one that has a lighthouse. I thought that was a nice image for a a Bible study or prayer journal. This is just some ribbon with um, violin and music on it, flowers. Some more stamping, ledger, um, paper. There are a few tabs sewn on the edge of this book, just here and there, to add some some prettiness. Another little piece of fabric with some grapes on it. This is a pocket with lace sewn on the edge. And just some um, a journaling card inside. A poem on the other side. Some other music paper. A little bit of lace. And some, uh, rose paper and a tuck spot. And there's the back. And there they are. These will be available in the store probably by the time this video loads. So, alright, thank you.